Before we start, check them out, mymollies.com, M-Y-M-O-L-L-Y-S.com. If you can't find ammunition, check out Molly's, mymollies.com. All right, it is the day of, taking advantage of the of the warmer weather outside there. Let's see if I got this dialed in just right. Let me dial, let me, let me readjust here a second, just, just a little bit, make it better for everyone there. All right, so again, taking advantage of the, of the nicer temperatures outside, 56 degrees there. I'm gonna just do a little quick, this is simply easy, easy and simple. If you were here with me when I was combing them out, I don't know if you can, how, well, how well you can see that, but simple and easy, easy and simple. Fan brush, a little bit of black, a little bit of burnt umber, Sorry, excuse me, raw umber. A little bit of raw umber. Just pull through. Boom. Is everyone having a good Tuesday? It is Tuesday, right? And sometimes I get so whew, I get so confused of what is what. But yeah. Busy, busy, busy is good. Get this, get this done. Let these guys sit for a little bit. Before we move on. Actually, I'll probably get the breast. I'll probably get the breath started, at least get a little bit of pain on them. So, how is everyone this afternoon? We are good here. Well, Karen's not with us, but the ride dog's sitting right outside there. Nothing crazy. Paint's a little bit dry on the brush. And that's the effect we're looking for. Something like that. I don't know how well how well that, that looks in the light there. But that's all we're doing. There's there's the how about I do it this way? There's the before. Get a little more paint here. That's the before. Just lightly hitting the hitting those ridges that we combed out. Doesn't take long at all. I don't think you can see it. How is everybody's Tuesday afternoon? I appreciate you tuning in to see what is what. Again, mymollies.com. If you're having trouble finding ammunition, they got it. By the box or by the case, no limits, mymollies.com. Mymollies.com. M Y M O L L Y S.com. Oops, that was a little heavy. A little bit heavy. Warm weather, no, I can't I can't call it warm, but the milder weather feels awesome. It really does. That's about it. Something like that. Well, I'll be at Molly's next. I'm gonna be there Thursday. I'll be up there Thursday at least at least around the lunchtime hour. Oh. Yeah. I can't really read at the same time. Pop up and see if somebody says something. Too bad, uh, too bad there's no audio. That would be pretty cool. That should be the next thing Instagram does. Make it that well, it might not be a good thing, but <laughs> but that uh, you could actually talk that talk back and forth instead of typing, that'd be pretty cool. But um, there we go. A little stretch dead guy. I don't know if that's showing up that well or not, but simple and easy it really is easy and simple. Oh. Don't forget if you're halfway close to Haverty Grace. May 1st and 2nd, it's the 39th annual 
Haverty Grace Decoy and Art Festival. I'm the honorary chairman. Honor to be the honorary chairman. Thank you, Haverty Grace Decoy Museum. Did not get to do it last year because of COVID, but I think this year we're gonna. This year I think we're gonna get pull her off. So if you're halfway close to Haverty Grace, stop in and say hello. May first and second, 2021. 39th annual Happy Grace Decoy and Art Festival. Something like that. Headquarters, headquarters. Like Karen says I can't talk about it yet. She says I cannot talk about it yet. Very anxious though. Very anxious about it. Really am. Just more from the from the financial aspect. So again. The gray's been all combed out. Lighter is better than heavier here. I can always come back and do it. As you see, I can get back and come back and do it again. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going. I'm going to go perpendicular. So, I got my my combing this way. I'm going perpendicular. I don't want to go parallel. I'm going to get the paint down inside. That's not that's not the effect here that I want. I'm going to go perpendicular to everything. Yeah. Boom. Uh, these bodies are cork i don't have anything i could actually share i can show you the hen there's cork right there and in my case i take and because i like to use my brand i hollow them out these guys don't appear to have anything in them usually i make them that they rattle a little bit there these guys are not not making a sound or what i put inside of them got got stuck to the glue <laughs> I am not an artist. I just my decoys are not not perfect, but I think I can get a little bit of paint on them to make them look halfway good. But I am definitely not an artist. I do not consider myself to be an artist. Right there, we're gonna call this one done. There we go. Something like that. I am going to get, I think I'm going to get the first coat of the breast paint on it. Oh. Again, before, knock this one out kind of quick, I think. Something like that. Scott, yeah, I saw Scott Lennox, uh, man, he was up, I think I saw one of his posts, he was in Easton. Is that where you saw him at? Simple and easy, easy and simple. I used to, I don't do it anymore, I used to hold my breath <laughs> when I would paint. When I first, I remember doing some videos where like I held my breath, I wasn't talking. For whatever reason, I don't feel the need to hold my breath anymore. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Scott's out there, out and about busy. Busy is good. We, what, uh, what rigs did he drop off? Karen and I love the deadly double. Especially when we, when we, when we had to watch a prick, that's what we really, that's where our, our favorite rig for catching the flounder. A little tough to get underneath the back here, but pulled it off. Molly's does ship ammo. MyMollys.com. If you're having any trouble finding ammunition, by the box or by the case, there's no limits. The limit is how much money do you have? So Karen and I have actually been going through quite a bit of 9 millimeter. 
we do get it by the case. Any tips for beginning sea duck hunters? It, what kind of a boat are you doing this in? Are you doing it safely? I think that's probably my first thing that I would ask. Uh, MyMileage.com, yes, they will ship ammunition. They still have uh, some friends in New York just got some um, shells. They were thinking they weren't going to make it there because of the snow and what have you. But um, they were they shipped cases of cases of um, 12 gauge shells for their, their snow goose season up there. Do I have any pl trips planned to the West Coast? Midwest, I'm sorry. Um, honestly, no. Time is my biggest thing. The only thing I've really got on our radar right now is uh, PEI, hopefully, if the borders are open, PEI, Pennsylvania, Prince Edward Island in October. That's probably, that's really the only thing 100% that we want to do for sure. Kayak or 14 foot John boat? Well, where are you doing this? In Maryland? Hello to everyone. We are dry brushing the green wing teal. North Carolina. Um, yeah, just I if you I would think you'd better pick your days, even even if it's not the Chesapeake Bay. I know the Pamela Cook Sound can get pretty snotty there. I definitely would uh, dial into the marine forecast and uh, watch watch your watch your weather. You know, wind makes waves, right? So more more worried about what the wind forecast is. I'm the marine forecast here also gives you wave heights, but I'm, I'm more concerned about what they say the wind is going to do. There's a couple other good apps. Fish weather, they seem to be halfway decent with their with their wind forecast. But um, get where the birds are, but get there safely. And a lot, I assume you're going to be targeting Scoter. A lot of black decoys. Next year, we're, we're okay for the 60-day season. It's the following year. It's only going to be about 45 days. So take advantage of sea duck hunting next year because the following season, it is going to be poor. Uh, duck hunting, I shot my swan. I shot my swan in um, Lake Phelps. Fake Lake Phelps, yep. So you're going to do uh, redheads and bluebill. Uh, I guess, can you do that from a shoreline somewhere? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I got all the drakes. Buffalo head right along the shoreline. I think you could probably take take advantage and, and have a good buffalo head shoot there. Thank you guys. I appreciate appreciate all the kind offers with the hunts. Going back up through. Thank you, thank you. Yep, yeah, deadly double. Double trouble. I don't think we. I don't think we. Uh, scrolling back up through. I don't think we have used the double trouble. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, I still like the daily, deadly double. All right, guys. <clears throat> I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? If you want to stay here, I'm going to hit these. I can hit these breasts on these things real quick. If, if everybody's going to hang out, if I'm not boring, boring anyone. Let's see here. I, I got the, I should have the chest, teal chest, teal Teal, teal chests are right here somewhere. There it is. Oh. Yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, light you can't see, but trust me, it is. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, maybe I'll use the other brush. Let's see if I can get away with this one. Now, I haven't used, I have not run either decoy. There we are. Um, no, uh, here in Maryland, there's just not that many eider. And um, what eider we do see, they decoy pretty decent to. They decoy pretty decent to to um, to the scoter rig. So this this teal paint, it's like it, it's been sitting there for a little bit. <laughs> it's a little hard. <laughs> we can readjust. I I need to get the color on just to get some color on them, and then we can move ahead and get the get a real color on her. See what here. Uh, I you know I haven't done snakeheads. Good friend Mark actually he was just talking to him on the phone. He he um he targets them especially with bow fishing. But no, I have not I have not done any. Let's 
cheap decoys. What is your definition of cheap? Words are relative. That's what I've, not to sound like the old guy, but man, the older I get, I understand everything is relative. So what might be cheap to you may not be cheap to me or vice versa. So that is one thing I always ask. All right. So I, 150, uh, brand new. So we've got, we've got the vermiculation on and I did take time out just to kind of pencil, pencil my, before I, I did the, did the gray, the second coat of gray and combed it out. Get a couple text messages there. Ooh, this is looking a little bit bright. I'm not so sure about this. Well, I always do, I always do two coats. This is, this is close. I'll see when it dries. This is, Although I do have it labeled teal, teal breast, this is looking a little little bright to me. Um, again, we'll go second coat anyway. I do all this, anything you see on these birds, the first coat just kind of is to get some color down, and then the second time is more of when I, if you want to say I load it up, I load it up, so. Well, obviously use decoys, you just get out and about and scout on, scour, scour the internet see what you can find um i don't know are the old are hot buy decoys around anymore those avery hot buys the mallards and they were like 15 16 less than 20 dollars a dozen and those you would those i think although they're a mallard i would man for that kind of money some white and black spray paint you could easily turn them into some nice divers so i don't know if those are still around or not the um uh, of the avery the avery hot buys Is that a black duck in the back? That bird right there? Is that the one we're speaking of? I don't see anything else in the back. That is actually an old, old plastic, an old plastic eider decoy that I painted up. I found a real, here, so here, talking about, talking about used decoys or, not, or inexpensive decoys, they were old carry light that somebody ordered a tremendous amount of them and they broke, they were, oh, the carry light decoys used to come kind of like shrink wrapped for, even though you got a dozen in a box, they were shrink wrapped four together. So they, they weren't selling them. So they busted them open and just had them in a big bin, the shrink wrapped, uh, eider. And they were a dollar a piece. So that was really my, those were my best. I can't say best because I think what I have now is the best, but back in the day, the best plastic decoy I had was those, those that, that bird right there. There it is, yeah. That bird right there. Um, an old carry late eider. Uh-oh, rise. 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 Raising hell with somebody out there. Thought she was laying down enjoying the sun. 56 degrees here today. That feels pretty good to me. It's the warmest that it has been in a while. I don't know. Again, this is the first coat. I'm not that concerned because I'm can. i going to tweak out. I do want to see when it dries. I just find it peculiar the water I did have it did have it labeled as teal breast. Rye. Yeah, boom, something like that. Alright. Oh, there she is. She'd like to come in here. I'm sure I missed somebody saying something here. Can I here's an old surf scooter. Ah. Here's the old high heads. This one's been shot pretty, pretty good. Oh, it's not a surf. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't see a surf. But anyway, this these are these are Hollis Hollis Scoter. This one says 2012, but they are they are hollow. Ugh. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Happy Tuesday to everyone. I'm using. For my, my open water stuff, I have everything long line. Get on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Coates, C-O-A-T-S, or Pitboss Waterfowl, youtube.com forward slash Pitboss Waterfowl, and you can see you can see how I, how I rig them. You might have to go back, search through my channel, but they are there. Uh-oh. Stuff's still moving. What is up? Happy Tuesday, guys. Yeah, a little, that's a little, it's a little bright. I'm not sure. I have to.
to really th rethink this and see why did why is this like that but the paint is a little funky anyway but again like i said I, i'm just looking to get a, a good coat on here lewis where is your what It, I can't, Karen. I can't talk about it. She she told me I can't talk about it. I don't want to jinx it, but tune in tune in on Friday. Weather's going to be halfway decent, and from one o'clock Friday on, it will be a somewhat. Well, I can't say it's a reality because it won't be done. <laughs> but tune in somewhere. I'll say two o'clock. Tune in two o'clock. Friday afternoon, I, I will. I, she will allow me to speak in depth. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure like that. Boom. All right. Oh. Thank you, thank. You. I appreciate everyone tu tuning in. Okay, blank decoys left. Uh, there's there are a couple. Actually, I have more probably heads than anything. I just need to get the space to kind of throw everything out and, and really see what really see what I got. Happy Tuesday to everyone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Still, this paints paints thick. Cold temperatures don't really usually hurt it, but. It's just too fleshy looking. Pretty fleshy looking to me. I don't know. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you following along. I'm all about the a pattern, so I would I generally tell guys smaller size shot. If I had to pick one size shot, I'd say on decoying birds, I'd say four shot. I do have a two man right on outside here. I got the two. I assume you mean a, a layout blind or boat. Layout blinds, I don't really feed, I don't feed, yeah, can't speak. I do not field hunt, so no. I have, I have, we used to film a lot. And although I'm not a goose guy, we did, we did, uh, we did film a lot of a goose hunting, but. Well, I mean, to, if, you know what, ultimately you got to shoot what you feel comfortable with. So here's one thing I always say, whether it's a 10 cent shell or a $10 shell, if you're two feet behind, you're two feet behind. So it doesn't really matter what you're shooting at them. Not going to help you. But yeah, I mean, if, if if twos work for you, that's great. I just, I'm to me, there's more pellets in an ounce and a quarter. Number fours versus number twos. And again, on a decoying bird, to me, it's a it's about the pattern and covering them up. So, just my opinion. You can tell me I'm wrong. That's fine. No worries. Layout boat. Yeah, I have a two-man uh, core sound sitting right outside. And we actually, if you go back through again on the YouTube channel, you, sh you should see, you can see some some of the old, old hunts back in the D3 TV days. Um, layout hunts that we did. There you go. Number four on 20 gauge, and it's deadly. Again, if you, if you got your lead down, I guess, you know what, truly, if you got your lead down, it probably doesn't really matter what you're shooting. But, uh-oh, that didn't sound good. Over that way, but uh, truth again, I, I'm I think that it's all it's all about the pattern. Get on them. I I've always been attracted, way way back in the day. First off, way back in the day, like hardly anybody was doing it. Number one, but number two, it always took place on open water, right? And on open water, you just never know what you're going to see. There you go. Well, that again, if it works for you. I'm not telling you you're wrong. I do think. So Donald Hughes told me way, way back in the day. Okay, I don't know where that locked up, so I'm going to re rewind, sorry. So Donald Hughes way back in the day told me, because I would buy a, a, a box of this, a box of that, this size shot, that's this brand, go back and forth, back and forth. And he said, look, man, go buy a case of, it could be the most expensive shot out there, shell, or it could be the cheapest shell out there, but buy a case of it. And just shoot that. Don't 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 keep switching and just learn how to shoot. 
that that particular load box price point brand shot size through your gun and that's he always told me that he was full of useless knowledge, but uh, I was I always enjoyed his useless knowledge because a lot of, it's very very true. All right, let's see here. It is very nice out. Man, it's like sixty or sixty. I wish it was sixty. Fifty six. Fifty six here right now. Feeling really good. I think Rye's out there laying enjoying the sun. Duke was out for a while and he's too much of an idiot. He gets himself in trouble. We put him back in. The guys are still out back. They're starting to come up the other side of the bulkhead now, so out back is a little bit busy. Yeah. Happy Tuesday. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Thank you very much. I'm probably going to kill it here shortly. I do like to talk, though, if you haven't noticed that. <laughs> Looking forward to Karen get home today. Catch her up to speed. Got the tractor last night. Went and got a trailer for it today. So we'll be somewhat mobile with it for a while. Yeah. Again, it just it just looks a little bit just a little, a little bit too bright. A little, I mean it, it is fleshy, but I don't know why. Ah. Uh, I don't, I don't know. You know. I was actually spoke with Curtis Campbell today. He's right there at Harbor Island, and and um, he always invites me over. I sit sit on sit on the real estate and, and watch the weigh-ins. Last year, you know, it's, I don't. I guess it just depends on COVID, huh? What 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 is Ocean City gonna? What's the state gonna say? What what's Ocean City gonna stay? You know, the, I, I mentioned earlier May first and second, the After Grace Decoy Show. Um, big honor for me to be the honorary chairman. I, I don't, I don't even, I'm playing, I guess I'm in the mode that it'll happen, but I, if they said it's canceled, I don't know that I would be that surprised, sadly, but so yeah, this is all Golden's acrylic. Golden acrylic heavy body mat. Check that out. Ugh. It's like the consistency of peanut butter. Won't come out. Yeah, it does depend on COVID. I, like I said, even with the Have Gray show, I'm not, I'm not it's totally convinced it's going to happen. All right, two more. I'll do these two more breaths, and I think I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I think I will sign off. I can't really see. I guess it doesn't really tell me how long I've been on, but it's probably lo much longer than what I think. How about that? Oh, oh I just got on my finger. Oh, no. Just use my, just use my shirt a little bit. Rye. All right, all right, all right. I'm not hurrying, but I'm hurrying. Still got some other things I want to do. A few people still left. I appreciate you tuning in on this awesome Tuesday. I say awesome a lot, but. I like, I like awesome. I like awesome better than super. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Well, congratulations. Welcome. Welcome to the wide world of waterfowl. Where are you? Where are you, where are you a duck hunting, I assume? Maybe a little bit of goose? You duck hunting? start holding my breath a little bit. <laughs> All right. It still looks a little bit fresh. Also, man, I, I've not been to Oklahoma, but from what I've seen, it sure looks like it's a good flyway. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you tuning in. Now these are all these are all the green wing teal. I do have an old wood duck here. 
This guy says he's from 2003. But no, the, the ones I was working on right before the season, I did I did get them done. And actually, Charlie wants to have he, he wants some hens now, so I gotta I got that on my list to do. Oh, I'm sorry. What well, was my first boat? Well, actually, a John boat, Polar Craft. Uh, first quote duck, you know, true duck boat in the duck boat sense of like what I'm in today. It was the 17 C class TDB. Two, uh, 2000, 2000. There was a fire. The old classic TDB. The molds got burnt, so they redid the molds and um, Rip Pool sold me my boat, and it was like from the first one of a couple of the first runs on. Uh, it depends. Most a lot of time, I would the wood birds that I'm the cedar birds. I will especially the sea ducks. I like to use oil on those. Um, but like just doing this, I, that I, I could I can't pull that off in oil. So, oh, I got it on me somewhere. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad. Oh, I just put my hand in it too. So I just touched it there. That's all right. But this is what I, that's what I, that's what just happened. So, oh, it, it is kind of not getting it. I'm kind of, kind of recovered there. I think I am going to have to hit it, go back and hit the black again though. I think I, I think I've messed up my vermiculation. Yes, I did. It's okay. But I did mess the vermiculation up. And I got pain on my hand, but where I, I think maybe talking. I guess the brush in him. I don't know. All right. Lost track. Oh, cheapest way to make decoys. Ooh. I, I don't Pro, I guess foam, but these days <laughs> with the price of everything, probably foam is right right line with everything else these days. Or the, the tradi traditional materials. But I would think that. Um, not ha you wouldn't need as complex or as many tools to to do foam. So I'd say probably f to starting out. Although I I'd, I would I'd tell you to get cork. You just want to get your feet wet, see if you like it. Uh, I would try foam. Uh, back again, back with the D three TV. Yeah, we we did shoot a lot of puddle ducks. I I do not guide for puddle ducks. So really since. 2000, 2010, that was the last time um, filmed with D3, so I didn't do, you know, didn't do a whole lot there, there's some migrate, we did, I did Migration Nation TV there for a couple seasons, so I would, shot at PEI, we, we, we tried puddle duck hunting there, but generally, it was more goose hunting, but I, I don't guide for puddle duck, so my videos that you see recently, you're not going to see anything puddle duck related. Yeah, I make one decoy to sell. You, you, you can buy this one when it's done. I'm non-discriminatory. Kind of everything must go. Sort of, kind of. All right. Let's see, let's see. All right. I think I kind of caught up with all the questions. Sort of, kind of. All right, everyone. Thank you very much. Appreciate you tuning in. Happy Tuesday to you. If you're near, well, that was my lid, my, my, my black lid. If you're near, nice temperatures like it is here, get outside and enjoy. I still got some stuff to do, so I appreciate you tuning in. And thank you very much, and thank you for following along. Boom, boom. MyMollies.com, M-Y-M-O-L-L-Y-S. Check them out if you cannot find ammunition. Plus, $99 purchase. Is it online? $99 purchase gets you 30% off, but I believe that's just in store. I'll probably get in trouble for saying that one. <laughs> Thank you all. Be safe.